has said a rebuilt team since 2018 with Perks as the focus, but having a bit of a new identity before it was always G2, Sven and Mithy and whatnot. Uh, now it's very much about the top side. And when they came into planes, well, they had a wonky first day, let's be honest, but they managed to get it back. You guys ended up pulling up LLN's Infinity. They're also a team that just pulled off an upset win against EDG. So what's your first reaction to that draw? Uh, we did scream against Infinity a lot, and I think we won every single one of, of the screams. So I'm going with huge confidence into the matchup, but I hope we don't choke as we choke day one. We have to be honest here, G2 is the favorite in this matchup. So let's take a look at the win conditions for the underdog Infinity Spawn. How do they take it? Skarner on the other. Skarner, not a champion we've seen yet in the hands of Yankos. How are you feeling about this for Yankos? Is this the right choice for this guy? Game one now in front of us. Allstate wants to disrupt it. Knock it back into the... Skarner, will he push any further? But there's the Ergon ult. Moving back into the tower. Wants to get the outplay, but it doesn't matter. The fact that Wonder is so much up and Perks is so much up, but the answer was no because where G2 usually is very aggressive in taking those early towers and objectives, Infinity equalized by taking a lot of objectives early and mid, which kept the game even. Uh, the first game was just, we tried something that worked good in scrims to snowball Tristan Alistair basically and it didn't really work out that well. And then our comp was just getting outscaled massively, so it was just like, we thought it was really good from screams, but it didn't work out on stage, so we just adapted after that, basically. Heard the Yankos draft, or the Yankos interview, every scrim they won. Everyone. So far, every stage game versus <laughs> Infinity, they have lost. And as we go into game two, that has to be heavy on the minds of G2. We're all eyes on Wonder, but the Baron is just as important at this stage of the game. Wonder now running for his life. He doesn't really have any other options out. Wants to pull him back. He's going to get the fear off. Can Wonder actually outplay this? He's already 2v1. He's already survived. He's already bought enough time for his team to take the Baron. Infinity have to contest now or they're going to lose everything. G2 bringing it back in game two. They're going to take out the opposition. They're going to crush them at every single turn. And in game two, the story of G2 is dominance. I mean, the thing is, the mistakes we did were really costly because we were hectic, I felt like. We took fights we don't have to take. Um, especially against those wildcard teams, they like to fight a lot, so we played on the bad cards. I think we, 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 we will be fine, you know? Like, what do you think? Because I think if we pick Burgo, if we send it top, Wunder will always be 9. If we send it mid, Luke will have mid pressure. Infinity taking it home in a late game when it came down to team fights in our game one, but game two. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> they lost horribly in the early game. They got obliterated. They uh, picked scissors yes. every time, and G2's <laughs> like, we're just, we took rock, man. You Smash. can't keep running back in. Oh, solid snake down towards the bot lane. Puma gank that Zyra Khan, get them ahead, and really enable Renyu and RC. Wonder needs to find a flank to the backside, but he simply cannot. He may give his life as well. Taking out Solid Snake is Yarnin. Continuing to cut through. Yarnin is going off in the fight. They simply cannot kill it. Kaisa, triple coming through for G2 to turn it back. And he has to find a fight, but G2 are the ones who are going to start first. Relic immediately going to get picked off. Kodopaku needs it all to turn this one. But Yarnin into the back line is just going to delete the Casio. That is everything for G2 in the last moment as they take the game. Like, try really hard to make our games more consistent. I think we can have a decent showing. Welcome back everyone to what could be the deciding game between G2 Esports and Infinity for a spot at the group stage of World 2018.
for the most part, Wonder has came up exactly like you would have expected. He has been absolutely crushing so far. For the first time in this series, uh, Hyun and Wadid have a winning pushing bot lane with the Jin Alistair. Uh, the order hit as quickly as humanly possible. Both top laners TPing in now. Relic in the middle. Perks trying to find his way into the back line, but he takes so much damage back. He changes a beautiful Aureli ult. Dash through, pull back. There's the fear. There's the reset. Oh my god. They're cutting through G2. Our last game against Infinity, we had like triple AP, so it was kind of like rough, and also we did some bad stuff early game, I felt like. We could have stumbled bot a bit harder, but we didn't really have like the best execution. So it was a bit hard, and then we also did like a really bad fight on top side, trying to hit turret. So we got fell behind early. Going wonder on the backside, everything turning against them. G2 firing back, finding their way back into the game on the back of this fight. Now cleaning up is the double drop for Wonder. Perks on the side, baiting Solid Snake. Another kill going over in the favor of Yarn, and this is their moment. Everything stood against them in this game, from the draft to the execution. But in the final moments, G2 make it count. G2 had just really worn them down. You could see how mentally taxing this game was becoming as it was getting later and later. And I think that, once again, that's where you credit the veterans. That's yeah. where Perks is the one carryover member from this lineup that has been in a similar situation and was able to steer his team to victory. Yeah. I would say after this playing experience, we are very ready for votes. Like, our performance wasn't the best, but I don't think it was the worst either. I think we had some very good games and we were just a bit inconsistent. I don't think there was anything that really surprised us. I think all the teams sort of played how we expected them to. They played the same sort of way, where they would just look to give up side lanes in order to fight. And I think we dealt pretty well with that across all of the games we played. Not for a second there is thinking of losing the game, of like, of possibility of losing the game. You always win, are winning until the point that your nexus actually fall down, so you have to like always find a way to win, think about what enemies can do, think about what you can do. I think that's where I'm pretty good at.